Hey everyone, this is Addie Buckley Burnell, Associate Director of Career Development in the University Career Center, and I'm here to show you how to use Type Focus, and I think you're going to be really excited to use this as well. So what I'm going to do is show you how to kind of get through the system and why this is going to be useful for you in the long run. So type focus is going to be a way for you to be able to explore elements of who you are, uh, things about your interests, your values, your personality, and your skills, to be able to explore majors and careers that align, all within a self-guided system. In addition, you are going to have the option of actually going through some mini assessments and do some actual job search preparation, which will be useful to you as you are entering into the workforce or preparing for that journey along the way. So when you go to type focus, you will just simply go to aub.ie slash type focus. That is our shortcut link and it will bring you directly to type focus. If you have not already created an account, you are going to log in to create an account and you can use your Auburn email address or whatever password you like to set. Uh, remember that you do need to use your Auburn email to get into the system, but your password can be whatever you wish it to be. If you at any time forget your password or forget anything about it, you'll just simply use the forget password link. Once you've created an account, you'll be able to go into the account as much as you'd like. Now, when you've created an account in the system, you are going to have all of these different resources at your fingertips. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the career exploration tools first, because I think that's where most of you are going to get started. So if you have ever used our career assessment tool or career planning tool called uh, focus to, uh, you'll see some overlaps between the two systems. We have found this system to be a little bit more robust, and I think you're going to see some more functionality that you might enjoy. So the first thing that will happen here is you're going to get some overview of information within the actual tool itself, and you're going to start over here with step one. When you go into step one, you are going to go through the four different mini assessments within the system, all right, and you're going to answer a variety of questions to then come up with your personality type. Uh, the personality type is based off of the MBTI or Myers-Briggs type inventory, and it is going to give you insights into how you naturally operate, things to look for in your future work setting, a summary of information about your personality type, some tips for it to be successful using this, information about the other 16 types, and clarity about how, how your scores align. For each of those elements, you're going to be able to then explore careers and occupations using these little links here. Simply click on the little arrow link, and you're going to see a variety of different career fields or occupations. You will see a list of majors here specifically at Auburn University, and you'll see information about the actual career itself. When you look at any of them, these different links will put you directly to the website here at Auburn University that will show you the actual bulletin or courses you will take in that major. The link to the major itself will give you some good information and you can save the major for future reference and show your level of interest in said major. And you can do the same thing for the occupations. And so if you're reading information in here and the occupation sounds of interest, you can save that to then do some exploration on or comparison later. Now, when you look at the occupation information, it is going to give you a robust description of these different career fields. This information is being taken from what's called ONET, and it is non-biased career information that is being gathered by a U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. You will see information about growth rates. You'll see how these different careers align with things like work interest some additional pieces that you may want to see, including a job search board. So really some great tools for you to use to explore your options. Again, if you like it, you will simply hit save. If you don't, you'll just go back to your list. Once you have saved any of these different areas, you can explore things like this. If it has a sunshine, it means it's a growing profession. The green leaf simply means it's in a sustainable industry. And you'll see some information about the career cluster and median salary range. Now keep in mind when we're talking about median ranges, we are looking at a median salary that is not the average, it is the midpoint. Um, and so what that is going to mean for you is you could expect up to that point, including some elements below it, for your potential starting salary. So if you want to explore these different majors and career options based off of one aspect of your personality, you can do that. 
but I encourage you to go through your interest assessment as well, a skills list where you will have to choose your top skills, and then also look at the values assessment to see where your values align. Once you have done all of this, you will then be able to go on to step two. And step two is going to, oh, I apologize. I just locked myself out. I am sorry about that. All right. Once you've done all of the assessments, you can go over here to explore your options, and it will actually combine your assessment results into a way to explore all of the different things that come up along the way. So you can, of course, watch the video. You can apply some filters to how much education you are looking to achieve. And then if you do this, you will see four occupations matching up with your results of four of your assessments, 18 with three assessments, 52 with two. And you can explore those lists as easy as this. You can also go back and compare your saved items. And so if you want to know any information about the items that you've saved, you could do that. You can explore occupations specifically by a major group, okay? You can also explore occupations in other ways, by keywords, career clusters, or doing that comparison. So if you're thinking you want to know the difference between an actuary and an accountant, you can simply submit and it will do a side-by-side -side comparison for you. And this is a great way for you to get a very distinct look into how these align. And I apologize, it went up on another window and it didn't pop up for me, but it will typically do that for you and you can see exactly how they align. So great ways to explore these in a non-biased way and giving the facts and figures while linking you to the information at Auburn's uh, website to help you here. Now, if you need to print a report or generate a report of any of these pieces, you simply need to hit reports up here or the PDF option on any of the pages. Goodness. The PDF option here, print a report or create a PDF um, on the page. And it will let you print those reports here. When you hit submit, it will put it all on one page um, and you can either print it to a PDF or save as if you're not using a Mac. All right, so great things for you to get started with this entire process on, and I think that's going to get you started. Now, once you have started there and been exploring these pieces, you're going to be able to log in as much as you want to do things like creating a roadmap. When you've creating a roadmap, you can see your saved occupations and majors. You can then start answering questions that will help you figure out, have, you know, when you're making this decision, would you select the major that leads to occupations that would be motivating? Would they fit your personality? Would they hit with your interests? Are they going to be satisfying to you in the long term? And answering these questions will help you in this decision-making model. It will even show you these type of information that allows for you to pick things and answer specific questions. What types of experiences could you be gaining? Where would your focus line? How would this align with your passion areas? What kinds of organizations, co-ops, job shadowing, informational interviews would be helpful for you in succeeding in this area or answering your questions? And once you hit submit, it will too allow for you to print that as a reminder to you of how to go about this process to create a sustainable roadmap for you. Now, as you're planning your route, checking to see if you're career ready. Now, these are what we call the NACE Career Readiness Competencies. And these competencies are what the National Association of Colleges and Employers have found to be the essential pieces that employers look for in new applicants. With each of them, we can see how strong you are by simply giving an example, all right? So for instance, critical thinking, it defines critical thinking for you. It will give you an example of that. And then you can start by saying, where have I done this? What actions did I take to demonstrate or reflect upon this competency? What were the results? Now, if you recognize here, the situation, task, action, and results are all part of what we call the STAR technique. The STAR technique is a great way of answering interview questions that demonstrate skills with a story. So setting up the situation, what were the tasks involved? What were the actions you took and what were the results? You can then rate your competency here. By saving this, you will have created an answer to an interview question 
in addition to demonstrating a career readiness competency that will be beneficial for you moving forward. So simply saving that, you can edit it when you like, and by doing this and rating your competency, you will then see how much of this pie is taken up and where you might need to be building some of those skills. Print this report, demonstrate ways for you that you have done these different elements and um, demonstrated your career competencies, will aid you in marketing yourself effectively for your future positions or for graduate school. Now, of course, you're going to be looking for jobs at some point, and so this is going to help you here as well. Our office is always going to be here to help you along the way, but sometimes you can get started with some elements on your own. So when we're looking at creating a personal brand for yourself, you can see elements of your personality type. This is all based on the personality type that you took and how that's going to play out in your personal brand. You can see how you can utilize the elements of your personality type to aid in your resume writing, how you can use your personality type to work in networking, and then of course the types of things you could be looking at for your actual interviewing. You can start an interview guide here where you could be hitting on the different pieces of your interview and demonstrating uh, how right, by writing concrete examples of your personality type show that you can demonstrate your abilities. So we will have, just using those two segments of this program, you will have had a variety of interview questions answered, demonstrating your career readiness competencies, as well as some strength areas based on your personality type. So I highly encourage you to use this and print it off for practice. It will also show you how to use this in networking. And you can go in this program to actually plot out and gives you step-by-step -step examples of how to add a contact how to ask somebody to be a networking contact gives you some scripts you can work with including follow-up emails some demonstrated ways to build rapport all right a phone script and then also how to review an email piece and so i really encourage you to start practicing some of these skills early so that you can bring them out when you need them of course, our office is always here for you, and we are going to be a contact for you to either review your assessment results, help you in the process of finding a position, identifying people to network, in, and then, of course, practicing your interview skills. Step six of this is going to be success on the job. Now, although this is talking about success on the job, there are pieces of this that you're going to be able to utilize now. Two-person teamwork. This is an area that you can identify the strengths of your personality type and the blind spots that you may have based on your type. If you know the personality type of someone else, you can put that in here by clicking on the, what their personality type is. You can then see a report of how your personality type and their personality type may see some conflict and it will give you strategies to actually be able to alleviate that conflict and to communicate better. So think of this in a way, whether it be inner, uh, your communication in a team environment, your communication in an organization, you're working with a significant other or a parent. If you were wanting to alleviate conflict and be able to understand each other better, Understanding your personality is going to be the first step of that, and seeing how different personality types work together will be key to communicating and working together effectively. This will help you develop set strategies to do that, and you can do that in many different times. It will walk you through being a lifelong learner, how your personality type lends itself to your learning style. Now, if we know anything, understanding how you learn best is going to be incredibly beneficial to you as a student here at Auburn and beyond. So understanding your learning style will be key here. You may be going over this at certain courses, and I would encourage you to really use this as a leverage point to understand your needs and how you can really uh, leverage your abilities. You can look again at personality clashes and how to communicate better areas to communicate strengths, and then, of course, transferable skills. These are skills that your personality lends themselves to. Do you have these specific skills? And if so, these are things you're going to want to be able to demonstrate in your resumes, in your cover letters, and beyond. 
So if I know I'm able to do these things, let's just hit a few. I can then have a nice list of some of these skills. If you see here, it will show you how those skills align with some of those, prof uh, those professions you're considering. And will also help you understand how you can market yourself to an employer based on those elements. So as you see here, a very robust program that you can always go back in, make edits, create reports for yourself, create reports for a team or for an instructor. And you can use this throughout your time here at Auburn and beyond for free. So I really encourage you to utilize the system as much as you like. If you have any questions, reach out, but I hope you see why this will be beneficial to you this point in time and moving forward. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, War Eagle.